what did I watch July 2024 edition? Well, for me, it was mainly Disaster Month. Uh, in honor of the Twisters coming out, I picked out some of my favorite disaster movies, A Blind Buy, and I started uh, re-watching some movies like The Perfect Storm. Um, I hadn't seen this in a while. Um, it really does hold up. It's a little depressing, but it's got really good performances, good special effects. Um, if you haven't seen The Perfect Storm, George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, uh, a really good movie. Um, Crawl, this is kind of a uh, guilty pleasure from a couple years ago, uh, but I really enjoyed it. You've got this uh, uh, hurricane happening, they're stuck in a crawl space. Um, it's got some cheesy dialogue and drama going on between the dad and the daughter and all that. But uh, as far as just like a survival disaster film, it's really fun time. And if you haven't seen this one, because it's kind of a hidden gem, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, this was a blind buy, Hurricane Heights. I think I got this at Dollar Tree for like, or Dollar Store for like $3 uh, in 4K. And I surprisingly did not hate it. Is it the greatest disaster movie ever? No. Um, the acting's not the greatest. It's cheesy at times. But I mean, what disaster movie is it? Um, and really, I thought the special effects were kind of cool. And the premise was really cool. They were like heisting a Federal Reserve. They were shredding money. Um, and then you had some people with some funny Southern accents. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep that one. Um, Independence Day 4, a classic for me. Um, you know, it's kind of Will Smith's coming out. Uh, party in this movie. Uh, it's kind of the OG disaster movie for me. I love this one. Um, so good. And uh, re-watching it, I still get it. I did not watch Resurgence because I don't like that movie. Um, but that one is a classic for me. Speaking of classics, um, I really like The Day After Tomorrow. Um, it's not as good as Roland Emmerich's Independence Day, but um, for me, it's up there. It's one of his top tier kind of disaster flicks. Um, Dennis Quaid, you got a young, um, Elijah Wood, uh, it, it's good, it's, it's a good movie, um, I don't know if the science makes very much sense when you're re-watching it, but, uh, it's, it, it's still good, I still like it, uh, speaking of classics, I love, freaking love Armageddon, and re-watching this, I've seen this movie so many times, uh, Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, it's so good, uh, it's, of course, got your same cheesy dialogue and science that doesn't make sense, but, um, it's just a fun time and it emotionally for me, I don't know why it hits sometimes and I still get a little choked up at certain scenes and it's long, but I don't know. It's a, it's a Michael Bay classic. Um, I love Armageddon. Uh, and then I, you know, like why I said we started this whole thing. Um, I was in Walmart and saw that Twister had come out in 4k and went ahead and upgraded my copy and got to watch it in 4k right before I went and saw Twister's. And this movie's great. This is kind of a cut above most disaster films um, because it's the characters. I mean, yeah, you got some cool special effects, but the characters are really good in this. Bill, Bill Paxton, Helen Hunt, everybody's really great. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, and I will say I, I enjoyed Twisters, but it doesn't hold a candle to the OG, the original Twister. And this 4K version is great. Um, then finally, I did watch Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Um, these are the 4K versions. I think one of them I used the old slip on it, but um, I wanted to get ready for the new Deadpool, and um, I love these movies. Ryan Reynolds was meant to be Deadpool. I think the first one's a little bit better than the second one, but they're both really funny, a really good time, great action, and uh, spoiler alert, the third one is also great. I already have my review up there, but um, I love the third one, and I want to go see it again. Um, Deadpool's awesome, and that is everything I watched in the month of July.